Greetings, 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 greetings. I'm hoping everybody's having a good evening. This is your host, Doggy Diamonds, and for only $100, I promote whatever you need on my social medias and website. That's my Twitter, Facebook, Insta Stories, YouTube community, and my website, like I said, www.doggydiamondstv.com. Hit me up on Instagram at Doggy Diamonds for your promo. Serious inquiries only must be cash app ready. Let's get to it. Yes, we're about to go. We're about to go. We're about to go. We was about to go, but now we're gone because we're here. What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Doggy Diamonds. This is Doggy Diamonds TV. This is Doggy Diamonds No Filter. Make sure you subscribe to Doggy Diamonds No Filter on Spotify, iTunes, and your streaming platforms. It is actually an audio podcast as well. So if you want to know where you can find those things at, links are in the description box. The super chat is available. The cash app is available also. And I do PayPal donations too, if you want to send something through PayPal. But, ha, huh, tonight we're going to cover a topic that I think is hilarious, but not for the reason that you might think that I think is funny. Not for that. And 6 9 Takashi 69 aka Daniel Hernandez, shout out to Trucker for the donation early, is claiming that he's broke. This is his claims. He's claiming that he's broke. Why is he claiming that he's broke? He's claiming that he's broke because he has a lawsuit going on, a civil suit, and he's trying to say he doesn't have the money to pay the people that are suing him. Now, when it comes to certain things, I normally wouldn't say certain things under certain circumstances, but being that he don't play by the street rules and he don't follow the street code and he's a civilian and I'm a civilian too. So I can say certain things, right? Now, my opinion, my opinion, that is a crock of bullshit. bullshit. Because you're saying you ain't got the money and you show mad cars, show houses, you show all this expensive shit. Sometimes you just got to sell that shit. Now you get in the gym. You don't got the money. They got pawn shops. Sometimes you got to sell some of that shit. Sometimes you got to get rid of some of that high end stuff you got. You know, you got you to take those teeth out. You got to sell those teeth. You got to sell that chain. You got to sell that shark shit. You got to sell them cars. You got to sell that shit. You got to get rid of it. I don't know broke people who got Bentleys and Lamborghinis or all Skittles colors and all types of jewelry. I, I, that's not broke to me. That is not broke to me. Broke to me is when you have absolutely nothing. That's where broke is. Broke is... Broke is when you have nothing. You don't have nowhere to stay. You don't have no cars. You don't have any of that. But see, the lesson is this. The lesson is this. When you come before people, I always tell y'all the same thing. That make you laugh, make you cry. The same way you could come before people bragging and boasting, you got this, you got this. Y'all ain't shit because I got this and I got that. One day it could all go away. 
And then you have to be humble. You have to show some type of humility. You have to be humble and you have to show some type of humility because nobody's going to feel sorry for you. Or we're going to remember that you was talking. Aha, aha. I told, I did that. You, you was, this shit was funny. Everything was funny. Everything is one big joke. That shit just ain't that fun. It ain't that funny no more. And how you an artist? Whoa, 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 whoa. How you an artist? And you got this manager, this guy that you work with. That's always on Clubhouse running his fucking mouth. Maybe he should start getting you some work. Instead of on Clubhouse arguing with everybody. Maybe your manager... To get you some situations. Was wasn't the manager on there one day talking about a big deal they got? See the same thing when you brag about you got this and you got that. You got this, you got that, that we did this, that we did that, and you fronting or you 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 saying it to stunt on people, then you forget, damn. Uh I forgot we got clean broke. Just think about it. We gonna get down. Just really think about it. So you famous because you put out music. You famous, you told on all your people. Now you broke. And I and, and dickhead, I had to send him twenty dollars for gas money. Like, <sighs> so you know, it's so it's so sad. What 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 this this thing has become? You know, seriously, you know, when all and all being being serious, um, coming up in this culture, I remember just hitting play. And just liking the music or not liking the music. I remember, you know, seeing the videos, liking the video, not liking the video. I don't remember all these antics. I just don't remember all these antics. And these antics is what really, really ruined the culture. Because now the antics supersede the actual music. You know what I'm saying? The antics supersede the music. Now it's not even about the music no more. We can't name nobody albums. We can't name... We can't name nothing. All we know is some some antics that they did. You don't even know why some people are famous anymore. You don't even know why some people is, is famous. But it's the antics, it's the, the talking, it's all this stuff. It's not even the music. See, if I had any popularity, my popularity came from shout out to check videos online for the donation. My popular my popularity came from doing interviews. I still continue to do interviews. But how could you ask for leniency? You ain't get nobody no damn leniency. Who you gave leniency to? How could you go before the judge and say I don't make no money from this. I don't make no money from that. And a little bit of money I got, I got people who rely on me and care about me. So the people you took the stand on didn't have people that relied on them and cared about them. That was, that was okay though, right? See how they move the goalposts? See how when it's convenient, it's okay to do this. It's okay to do that. Shout out to Goya CLK. See how when it's convenient? And they're trying to make everything that is not right and exact normal. They're trying to normalize it. And it's never going to be normal. All around the board, look at everything all around the board. They're trying to normalize stuff that's not normal, that has never been normal, will never be normal in the eyes of certain people, right? If you are a street guy, profess to be a street, street guy, you cannot tell on people, period. Then you can't say, well, I told because I never was really a street guy. So let's say for argument's sake, right? Let's say for argument's sake, none of that went down. You would still be sitting here doing the same antics. 
you'll still be doing the same antics. The same thing as when John goes in the bathroom with your daughter to pee. But John, new name is Jill. And your daughter's about nine. And you can't go in there with your daughter because you're a male. But you're out having an outing with your daughter. Your daughter goes in the bathroom to pee. And then you see John walk in the bathroom and you like, yo, hold up. But John identifies as Jill now. See how they just move shit around. They move everything around and making everything that's not normal, normal. And everything gets moved around when it comes to some type of bag or some types of money. When it comes to money, all MVP gets compromised. What is MVP, you might ask? Morals, values, and principles. Because as long as you can feed yourself from it, it doesn't matter who it hurts anymore. And I get it because America's a market. And if it could be marketed, they're going to market it. If it's marketable. That's just where it, that's where we at with it. That's where we at with it. So I don't feel sorry for nobody. I have a pistol. I show my pistol a lot. So if one day, <laughs> if I accidentally try to bomb myself, you ain't going to feel bad for me. You'd be like, well, he shouldn't have been playing with it. And I'm going to say to myself, damn, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't have been playing. Not that I play like that, but I'm just saying. It's just the truth. I'm the first person to call myself a dumbass. The first person, you ain't even got to call me no dumbass. I fall up the stairs. Yeah, you fall up the stairs like a dumbass. You spill something. Oh, damn. How you spill that, you dumbass? I'm the first person who keep it real with myself. I keep it real with myself at all times. You do something dumb, <laughs> you it is what it is. I don't expect nobody to feel sorry for me. If you eat something and your stomach start hurting, nobody told you to eat that shit. Like, yo, my stomach is killing me. What happened? Yo, I ate this such and such. Yo, why you ate that? <laughs> When do we take accountability and responsibility for our ways and actions and what we did? You know what I'm saying? We all broke, but I want to be Bentley broke. I want to be diamond teeth broke. I want to be all these cars broke. That's the type of broke I want to be. That's the type of broke I want to be. But you got to take responsibility for your ways and action. You do something you have no business doing. There is a cause and effect. Every action gets a reaction. So, you know, you might be lactose intolerant. You know it. But the ice cream look good. And you say to yourself, nah, let me just get a little bit of that ice cream. Then you got the bubblies. You can't say, yo, man, I ate the ice cream and gave me the... Ain't you lactose intolerant? Hey, when you play with fire, you get burnt. I know it's a certain way that I used to play. What I told y'all before when I got stabbed. Think about it. Think about it. I got stabbed I thought it was funny It's like why do you think it was funny Well I stabbed somebody before So when it happened to me I can't cry Yo they got me Well you got other people That's just the way life goes And the sad thing about it Is that We don't even think is we, we it's not even really nothing to laugh and glorify what he's going through but he's a person who came out with an adult album called tattletales he had a big rat in the video like he made fun and trolled the fact that 
he did what he did. Do it in everybody's face. Shit, shit is real. You know what I'm saying? Lucky that he was able to come out and get any type of living after what he did. But see how people embrace them, certain people embrace them, how certain people are enabling him, enabling behaviors and trying to find a way to get him money so they could get money. So what are you really true to? What are you really about? You pick and choose. You pick and choose. A lot of people, all this shit is a game to them. All this shit is a game. All this shit is a joke to them. And the first thing that they want to do and say is how much money they got. You talk about how much money you got. When you lose it, well, you was just shitting on me. It's almost like saying, yo, you ain't got no ice cream. You don't have no ice cream. And I got ice cream. And then your ice cream hit the floor. <laughs> now, we both don't got no ice cream. But I ain't going to feel bad that you don't got no ice cream because you was just making fun of me. See how that works? You sitting there playing with the ice cream cone. Remember that? And then delirious. You don't got no ice cream. You playing, doing this with the ice cream and then the ice cream hit the floor. I'm going to bust out laughing. You're going to get mad. Yo, you think it's funny that my ice cream hit the floor? Absolutely, I think it's funny. Because you thought it was funny that I ain't have none in the first place. Now, we both don't have any. How about that? Now, you was down with committing a crime and then you're getting sued for committing a crime but now you're broke it's sad and you know what's even sadder because we in a day and time where we got so much many we got so many young men and women getting into this business, getting in this culture, whether it's the streets, whether it's the, the music business, whether it's all of these things, the entertainment business, and we got people that's older than them that should be guiding them, that's just as stupid and immature as them, if not more stupid and immature. You don't enable a damn fool, because if you enable a fool, you're just as much as fool as they are. You don't enable a fool. But everything that you see is for everybody to 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 speak on their so-called success. I got this, I got that, I did this numbers, I got that, 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 that. Then then when you fall, everybody be like, Well, you was just trying to shit on us. <laughs> so we kind of don't care That's why I don't really brag too much I just say things in response So when people want to call out Or question certain things I got I can show and prove, that's it But I'm never the aggressor Like I said, I shake the hand of the janitor The same way I shake the hand with the CEO So basically, y'all had a big ass empire Off of this kid Doing all types of crazy shit around the city Everybody locked up and now he broke was it all really worth it? Was it all really worth it? Hold me in the chat room. Um, I'm not going to get triggered by the chat room tonight, I promise. But let me address you really quick because, first of all, you're addressing me. And one of the things that you're making a mistake on is that's a long run on sentence. There's not one period in that sentence anywhere. And you went on to say, doggy, you perfect, I guess. We all need help. I feel sorry for all of you said you see these people like Puffy robbing everyone that wants to live. But instead, he ru ruins people's lives on y'all praise him. 
What are you talking about? There's no period in there. There's no comma. There's no sentence structure. Your grammar is off, but you're talking to somebody who's intelligent. How am I supposed to be able to decode and decipher what you're saying? And if you can't even type a third grade fucking sentence, and then you got the nerve to be kind of like scolding me. You got the nerve to be trying to scolding me. Are you defending somebody? Are you? I don't praise anybody. But I know for a fact, when I was in third grade, I knew what a period was. I knew what a comma was. I knew what an exclamation point was, a question mark. Look what you wrote. Read. Did you proofread your shit? One big sentence. No period, no comma, nothing. It's not even what they call legible. And it's 2022 and you got people coming on the internet typing like that. In 2022, do you know that most of the time when you like when you when you when you type, a red line goes under your sentence, letting you know, hold on, put a space there, that punction. What are we doing? Just stop. Just stop. But back to the build. I'm not into being, you know, you don't have to be humble. Don't every don't don't let nobody tell you to be humble. You know, when you do what you do, you got a right to be um happy, but you don't have the right to disrespect anybody for what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if 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 you won something, you allowed to say I won. If you did something great. You allowed to say that. So don't ever let nobody make you believe that you got to be humble when you want to talk about your accomplishments. But when you brag and disrespect other people who didn't disrespect you based off of what you did, nobody's going to feel sorry for you. Nobody's going to feel sorry for you. And now on top of that, you think we stupid? How could you be broke and got a Bentley? Sell a fucking car. So let me get this straight. You get to be broke and still keep the cars. So how you paying your insurance? How you, where do you live? Cause I remember broke being the lights went out in the crib and you run in the court from the neighbor's house to get lights until you could get some money to get your lights cut back on. I remember that broke. I remember broke eating welfare cheese and making everything out of it. You putting it on grill, you making grilled cheese. If you got any, any elbow noodles, you making macaroni and cheese out of it. You just cutting it off and eating pieces of cheese. No six nine, but I'm just saying. I remember being broke like that. And how you broke? You got this big mouth ass person who's always talking about what they do, what deals they did and all that. Um, Maybe you need new management. Your manager's not getting you no gigs. You wouldn't be broke. Spam and macaroni. That's broke. Spice ham broke. At one point, the cheese used to have a red string around it. You used to have to, to, to take the the uh 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 the the red plastic from around the cheese. This is a fact. That's broke. That's popped. Or. You got to get a job. You got to get a job. No, we don't think he's broke. We don't think he's broke. We're just laughing because people trying to insult our intelligence, but we're too smart for that. 
And I ain't even really mad at him. I'm mad at the, the people who enable him. I'm mad at his dumb manager. You know, people who just run their mouth. And maybe you need to run in one of them offices and get some money up. You know what I'm saying? I know where broke is. Sometimes you got to get a job. But if you think about it, all of these people are being set up to fail. Most of these artists who came out at a particular time are being set up to fail. They talk about they don't have no money. They're not getting paid. The, um, the plan, you know, dimmy, dimmy, do hit up. Got came out and a lot of people couldn't do no shows. So then they started scamming people on the internet. You know what I'm saying? They started doing a lot of stuff when that when that shit happened. And just look at them now. No, broke is when you got that big TV for the sound and a little TV on top of it for the picture. That's broke. That's what broke is. Broke is when you got the big floor model TV, but the picture don't work, but only the sound. So you use a little TV on top of that for the picture, but you use the bottom TV for the sound. So when you turn this channel, you got to turn that channel down there. That's broke. Broke is sugar water. Broke is mayonnaise bread. Broke his ketchup sandwiches. Broke is water and cereal. Broke is king vitamin. Kicks, kaboom. Powdered milk. That's what broke is. That's what broke is. Broke. Broke is Kool Aid with no sugar in it. That's what broke is. Broke is frying your chicken in Vaseline. That's broke. Broke is that don't fit you no more. Give it to your little brother. But you got it from your older brother. That's broke. Broke is your older brother gave it to you. You wore it for a little while. You can't fit it. Then now you got to give it to your little brother. That's broke. Broke is when you walk in and the bottom of your sneakers is doing this. That's broke. That's broke. Broke is you go in the loaf of bread. And about two, three to four of the breads is green. And you don't even throw the loaf away. You just take the green bread out, throw that away, or sometimes you savage it you salvaged it, salvaged it by just ripping a little mold off. And then you say shit like, oh, it's penicillin. <laughs> That's broke. Broke is dropping the deuce and you ain't got no tissue. So you just get in the shower. That's broke. Broke is eating inbreds. That's broke. Broke is you go to school and you never get to go on those school trips because you're broke. So you don't have no trip money. You just stay home that day. Broke is never having no school pictures. That's broke. Broke is going to the Chinese restaurant and getting an order of white rice and gravy. 
Broke is we all put down for those hairy chicken wings and we each get a hairy chicken wing. That's broke. That's broke. Broke is you don't have any curtains. You got shit. You got sheets on your windows. That's broke. Broke is your room is is separated by a sheet. That's broke. That's broke. Broke is having a pack of gum and ripping it in half. And you only eat one half. But it's, it's, it's only one stick and you eat half. That's broke. Broke is getting a whole bag of chicken backs from the butcher. Putting it in a pot with rice and boiling it all together. And now you got chicken and rice. But your chicken is chicken backs. That's broke. Broke is going into your refrigerator and all you have in your refrigerator is baking soda, ice, and water. That's broke. Baking soda, ice, and water. Broke is having ketchup. And the ketchup is gone. But you put a little water in it, swish it around, now you got some ketchup. That's broke. That's broke. People use eat chicken backs. So when people say they broke, and I say, damn, well, I know what broke is. Broke is going to school early so you can eat breakfast. Broke is going to free lunch in the summer. Broke is you better eat lunch because it ain't going to be no damn dinner when you get home. That's broke. That is broke. Broke is ramen noodles is broke. Broke is a can of ravioli, a can of spaghetti and meatballs, a can of SpaghettiOs. That's broke. Broke is making Kool-Aid and putting it in the ice trays and freezing it. Now you think you got ices. That's broke. That is broke. Broke is, you hear that? Do 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 do. And you know, you know, they don't even come on your block. You they just go down the other block. That's broke. Broke is beans and pork and beans. No, pork and beans and franks. And you got that little fat. You got that little fat in, in, in your own beans. That's broke. Broke as you go to your cabinets and open them and you hear... <laughs> Fuck you looking in here for? You know ain't shit in here. That's broke. Got it? That's broke. Broke is when you can't sleep because you're so hungry. Broke is when you go in the refrigerator and your refrigerator go, <laughs> <laughs> Close me, bitch. That's broke. So, so, are you really broke? Are you really broke? One more, 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 one more. Right. After this one, I, I did it, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. After this one, broke is 
You got spaghetti. You got spaghetti. And you pour ketchup on it and eat it because you ain't got no spaghetti sauce. That's broke. Broke is brushing your teeth with a bar of ivory soap. That's broke. So Takashi, you're not broke. Cut the shit. Cut the crap. We don't feel bad for you. We don't feel sorry for you. Stop trying to play games. Stop trying to fuck with us. If you are broke, we don't care. We don't feel bad for you. You're broke with an abundance of jewelry. You have cars. I'm pretty sure you have homes. And if and if Dickhead had to give you twenty dollars for gas, you got luxury cars. So your cars definitely got to take ninety three, right? So what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Twenty dollars in the car right now at ninety three. What you getting? Three, four gallons if you lucky. Cut it out. Remember when you would have like dishwashing liquid? It might be like pot palm olive or, or or joy or something. And and you was a little kid and they poured some of that. And now you got bubble bath. But it's really dishwashing liquid. Yeah. That's how real it is. See, I don't feel bad for anybody who's actually made a mockery of people. I don't think, you know, I don't think the shit was funny then. And I don't think the shit was fu it's not funny now. You know what I'm saying? It's not funny. It's people who um, didn't wake up today. It's people who didn't even go to sleep because they passed away. There's people who really aren't eating. There's people who are cold right now. There's people who are homeless. There's people who are very, very destitute situations. And some of it is beyond their control. And some people who don't have anything will still give what they don't have to other people. When they get it, they'll still split it. So, you know. It is what it is. I just came on here to just talk SHIT for a minute. I did a three hour live last night. I don't even have it in me to, to sit here before y'all all night again. I ain't got it. Just came here to run my mouth for a quick 45 minutes or so. To let y'all know what broke really is. And um, where is that box? If I may, before I go, one second. Make sure y'all look at this. Uh, and and um, I'm not going nowhere. But um, just check this out for a minute. You are now watching Doggy Diamonds TV. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also, you want to hit the bell so you can get all notifications of when I'm going live or when I upload new content. And don't forget to like, share. And leave a comment on this channel. Peace. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I didn't go anywhere. I'm back. Hold on. Let me get back on here. Because I have to say what's up to one of my people who sent me a bunch of uh, clothing. So, this clothing is by... Big Black Biscuit. So, they sent me a sweater. Big Black Biscuit. Sweater. I said, get this off tomorrow. Got a sweater. As well as a little bag. What's in this bag as I, as I sit here? I didn't even look in the bag. Oh, more gifts. A little...
little thing to go on the wrist. Little bandana. Wow, what a care package. Pens. Ski mask. And this little bag. I can put my gun in there too. I like that. This is by Big Black Biscuit. I'm going to make sure I get you the information, which should be right here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. BigBlackBiscuit.com. Okay, yeah, BigBlackBiscuit.com. That is B-I-G-B-L-A-C-K-B-I-S-C-U-I-T.com. BigBlackBiscuit.com. So I got a sweater. I got a little bag. I got... Some hats. Look. So you look at that, right? This is fitted too. Hope it fit my big ass head. This is fitted. And it goes with this sweater. See? And this is embroidered too. This is a snapback. This is another snapback. We ain't finished yet, too. Hold on. So we got this. We got that. We got a sweater. Bigblackbiscuit.com. See that? That's fly. Olmec. <laughs> we ain't finished. <laughs> oh, a scully. See, I could get this off tomorrow. The scully... In the sweater, that's an outfit. All you need is a good pair of pants and a good sneaker. Bigblackbiscuit.com. We're not finished. Oh. This is a sweater. Is this a sweater? It might be a t-shirt. Yeah. Why is this a double X though? It's too big, but yeah. But I'll get it off somehow. Run BBB. Big Black Biscuit. Okay. Another, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's probably another, yeah, another t-shirt. Another t-shirt. Um, and another little bag. Another little bag. I got to go inside of there and see what's in there. And then I'm going to give you the information if you want to purchase any of these things. I already told you the website, bigblackbiscuit.com. But let me see what's actually in here. Oh, wow. They done sent me some drawers. These are underwear. So look, check it, right? In New York City, we call biscuit. We used to call them, as you see on there, guns. So look, I got a sweater. I got a hat. I got drawers. They dressed in me. It's lit. So I had to show them some love before I go. Big Black Biscuit. Uh, if you want, if you have anything that you want to send me, I will show it on my show. Um, yeah. So if you want anything, the stuff is really, really nice. Really good quality. This is it right here. Make sure you go check it out for yourself. Big Black Biscuit. Yeah, this is... Oh, that that's what they sent me. They sent me like a vest. Yeah. So as you see the name right there, Big Black Biscuit. Make sure you go. You know, when the person send you some drawers, they care about you. But I got scullies, sweaters. I might have to get that off tomorrow. I'm going to be honest with you. I got somewhere to go. I might have to get that off tomorrow. So, yeah, I just came here to shoot the shizzle with y'all really quick. And um, I do have a P.O. box. So, what you could do, if you have merch and you have anything you want to send me, you can send it to me. You know what I'm saying? Just hit me up, ask me for my P.O. box, and you can send me. I don't care if it's candles. Don't don't send me, you know, just be careful what you send me. Be careful. Certain things I ain't accepting. Nah, but if it's candles, 
if it's cards, if it's a board game, any merch that you have that you think I should have that you want me to show to the people, you could do that. Also, I have banner space available. I could put your banner right here while I'm talking. There's so many things I can do. I'm Doggy Diamonds. This is Doggy Diamonds TV. I got to go. I'm going to get me some rest. And um, shout out to y'all for rocking with me. Um, Yeah, on that note. And um, the interviews is available. So book y'all interviews too, man. This is the price. Now, I think y'all should do some of these interviews while the price is still the price. Because um, there'll come a point in time where I'm just not going to... It's not going to even be about the price. I'm just not going to want to do it. So... It is what it is. If you have a product, you have a brand, and you think you need an interview for it, that's the price right there. If you need promo, you already know the price for the promo. It's $100. And, uh, yeah. So, until next time, um, peace.